Okay, this one's gonna be a um, hopefully not too long one, just on sweep tubes, uh, and especially concerning the 8908 and the M2057 tube, and a little bit of the history on that tube. Um, we got this Golden Falcon 1000 with 10 8908 uh, tubes in it. Um, I took the driver out and it's sitting down here, but it's one driving three driving six 8908s and um, To get it going we actually looked at the history and the pinout of this tube and we found a couple things. So anyway The um, 8908 Which is that one is a 40 watt tube and it was a variant of the 6LW6 which is a um, also a 40 watt tube and they also made a Mako M2057 which is the same tube 40 watt tube but the pinout and the bases are different in some this here is just your average normal 6LF6 tube and basically um, that's a 30 watt tube and the 8908 and the variants are 40 watt tubes and you can physically see the difference you know in the sizes from a normal sweep tube like this 6LF6 here and then this um, 6LW6 or 8908 variant you can see it's bigger and fatter and meatier and the plates is bigger um, it's just a bigger batter tube um, so anyway Back during the TV sweep tubes, the 6LW6 here was a TV sweep tube. It was the biggest and baddest that they made. It was the 40 watt, you know, extreme um, sweep tube for a TV. And that's the 6 volt filament version, octal 8 pin base. And then we found out that the 8908 tube, which that's written somewhere, I can't find it right now. But anyway, that's an original 80, there it is, 8908 tube. That's a 12 volt filament and the pinout is slightly different. The base is the same, octal 8 pin base, but it's not just plug and play. Even though it's a 12 volt filament, a couple of the pins, I think grid one and grid two or something like that are different. Um, I'll make a schematic of that coming up. But anyway, the pinout's different, so you just can't swap them directly and change the filament um, between the 6LW6 and 8908 but those are both um, the same tube except one is 6 volt one is 12 volt and the pinouts are different between the 6LW6 and the 8908 both are used as sweep tubes and that's what this amp here the um, Golden Falcon uses and last back when the TV sweep tube thing was dying and TVs weren't using sweep tubes no more. Rumor has it that GE, who made these uh, 8908s, hit a bunch of them. And Mako was making amps at the time. They're like, hey, why don't you um, redo those uh, 8908 sweep tubes and put them in a um, base like that, which is more conducive to RF than the octal um, bases are. You know, that's fine for a sweep tube, but it's not the best for RF. Um, so they redid the bases of the 8908s and it's actually from the rumors it's the exact same tube internally and all that except they changed the base for Mako and they sold it as an M2057 tube which this is and if you can look at it and see it looks identical you know on the inside and internally and from the rumor has it history that they are identical. They just took the insides of this and put it in a different um, base uh, with the regular 12 pin and Mako used this in these amplifiers so that's what happened to these last of these sweep tubes. Both the 8908 used in amps and the uh, M2057's are hard to get and expensive because you know they haven't made these since the 70's I would guess but here's a little trick for you if you change the pinout or the base if necessary the 6LW6 six, 6 volt version is the same tube again but it's easier to find and cheaper 
if you go with the 6LW6 but again it needs some work where you got to change the pin out and the base if you're using this base before you can um, use it as a replacement but internally it's the same tube so anyway that's my uh, quick one on the um, tubes between a uh, regular sweep tube 30 watt the big bad uh, 40 watters the 6LW6 